uh, I am Celso Pipito, I am a Filipino artist, but uh, I am a Cebuano. I am very proud of who am I as a Cebuano and of course as a Filipino. So I've been painting for 35 years. Yeah. I used to exhibit uh, mostly in Cebu, Manila, and then I organized exhibits in uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, and sometimes Thailand. Also uh, here in the U.S. So this is my fourth time here. Yeah. When I graduated in high school, I was given an award of uh, Artist of the Year. But it's not because I know how to paint, but because I am uh, more into littering. So my advisor uh, in, encouraged me to take up fine arts. I, I took to myself that uh, fine arts is littering. So <laughs> I was a bit bothered because I really don't know how to draw. I asked my professor how to uh, overcome that kind of problem. No? And then uh, he told me that just keep on practicing. That's why uh, from that time on, I used to bring with me my sketch pad. No? Even now you see me uh, sketching. No? So that's where I, I learned my, my skill, learned how to appreciate the, the value of being a painter. Yeah, actually it was just the inspiration or encouragement of my teacher, advisor. In UP, we have an annual exhibit. No? I was so encouraged because in the first year classes as, as a student of fine arts, we have an annual awarding. No? I won a third honorable mention no? in sculpturing, in sculpture. No? And I thought, oh, it can be done pala. No? So you don't have to have that talent, but you just have to have that interest of doing it. No? In the second year, I joined an Odessa Fat Painting Contest and I won grand prize. So I was surprised. <laughs> For the first 13 years of my practice as a painter, I used to paint in an impressionistic style because my teacher is an impressionist realist. So I was very much influenced by him. His name is Martino Abeliana and he is uh, one of the most respected Cebuano painters. After 13 years of painting like Abeliana, no, uh, I started to shift into the Cubism. No. Uh, it was through the encouragement of my classmate. Uh, his name is uh, Wenceslao Cuevas Jr. No. So he told me, you know, your, your style is, uh, is not fit for you because you are younger than me, supposed to be. You're the ones doing the, the abstract thing, no? But why are you using the conservative style? No? What he said sink in in my mind, no? Why not try other style? No? I realized that uh, you know, being a painter, you, know, you have to have your own style for you to, to be recognized of who you are. No? Actually, it started with, with, with uh, an editor of a newspaper in Cebu. She asked me if uh, I have a vision as a painter. She asked me, oh, so what is your vision as a Cebuano painter? During the time, I really don't have anything, no? <laughs> I just uh, paint for the love of painting. No? So, I started to think of what kind of uh, messages that I want to use in my uh, artwork. No? So, if you, if you notice my painting, uh, there's always an octagon on it. No? My, my friend, collector friend asked me, why are you using octagon? It was the time that I started to think of what circular forms influence people. Why not use the sun? No? It give life, it give warmness, and of course, give light. No? After the octagon, I also injected other images. I call it triplinar divisions. It refers to my uh, faith in the Holy Trinity. So God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. No? I was also trained in UP. UP students are encouraged to be involved in society. Also, it refers to my concern uh, to Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And then in the group where I have been active for, we are encouraged to really take care of the family. So I have also three sons. That's why when I started to define that kind of idea behind my art, maybe this is the right advocacy that I want. 
to share to society. No? Actually, I have many process. No, like in this case, this is a different process. That's a different process. But the same advocacy. Any kind of art, any, any subject, it all goes with my idea that you have to love God, you have to love your family, and of course you have to love your country. No? And then plus the octagon, which refers to being hopeful in life. For us artists, uh, any painting is not always done. Like in my case, I signed the painting 18 years ago. And when I see it now, oh, I missed to put this. <laughs> so that's why painting is never finished. You only have to abandon it sometimes. Because during that time, it's done for you. But it's not really finished. It's always uh, something dynamic. Something lacking, something, you know, uh, something uh, that needs your uh, analysis. You have to analyze. But your analysis during this time might, might not be enough. Anywhere I can, I can do my thing. No? <laughs> That's the advantage of being a painter. No? Like before, uh, when I used to paint that landscape uh, with, with references. Uh, very difficult for me to paint like if I am in the, in the, uh, in the airplane or in the ship. No? But with this kind of style, everywhere I sit, I can just you know, <laughs> create something no? and always make my, my time fruitful. Man. One of my favorite Saint Masi, uh, Saint Jose Maria Escriba, uh, he told us that if you want to rest, do not do, uh, do not waste your time just sitting down. No? Transfer to a more uh, lighter, lighter work. <laughs> because if you make your time idle, you're wasting your time. While watching the TV, I guess. <laughs> so, for me, there is no reason why you cannot produce art. No? Anywhere, anytime. If you have that, you know, passion inside you. Everything will just be liquid. No? You can create even even in the in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to me when I have a one man show in SME Kamol no, in Manila. No? So you know when I have a one man show, I always put the statement in every artwork that I have. No? And then uh, one time I I distributed some of my brochures. No? In my brochure, I put my, my address on Facebook. No? Then there's one guy who visits me on Facebook and then he told me, Sir, uh, thank you so much for your painting. You know, when I went to East Amir City, I was very down. In fact, I, I even want, want, wanted to suicide, to make a suicide. But when I read your statement in every art pieces, it gives me more encouragement to live life. No? So, ah, oh, so. I, I was happy to, to, you know, to know that there's somebody who really uh, got inspired of what I do. You know? No, no, because I don't want to be tied up. You know, because <laughs> I'm very mobile. I, I love to travel. I have to roam around. So every time somebody asks me, "Oh, you want you want to join this kind of exhibit?" I always say yes, even if I don't have the money. <laughs> First, to think uh, what kind of directions you want to journey as a painter. No? Because uh, if you don't have that kind of direction, it's very difficult to arrive at your destination. So, uh, foremost, you have to know why you're doing these things. No? There are painters who just love to, to paint, uh, doing beautiful things, doing something that they can sell, maybe. But I think. Art is a gift and it can be used as a, a catalyst for change. Of course, they have to be consistent. If you like these things, you learn from it, develop it, you ask for advice from others. But if somebody give you uh, some advices and you don't like it, uh, just keep it inside. You don't have to use what he advises you. It always depends on your judgment. 
if you know how to use everything in the right way, just be positive. You can start changing the world <laughs> by doing it. Also, injecting uh, this idea that when you paint, as if you are also praying. And when you pray, you have to put your heart in it. So every time you do, do these things, do it with love, with all your heart, and you know, you just realize that uh, you are really doing something very different. You know? And then hopefully you can inspire others to do so. <laughs> we have a scheduled exhibit in November in one of the galleries in Iskimigamo, in Gallery Y. No? So we have uh, a group exhibit there. I am very active in Facebook. So I use my Facebook as my means of communicating. I put some positive thoughts, I put some of my paintings. If you want to uh, discover more of my artworks, you can just add me in Facebook. I am below.